next store that I went to was Nordstrom and this is where when we're going to get into a lot of new fragrances for the next one that I've seen that I highly recommend is John Paul Gaultier Le Mail Elixir so the notes for this one is lavender tonka bean and benzoin I highly recommend this one now all I tried all of them they were all good there was not one that I didn't like so I feel like they kind of have one for each of everyone's preference if you want something woody fresh creamy like they have it but my personal favorite and my husband's personal favorite when we tried them was lamel elixir this one was strong it was creamy because like that tonka bean that's in there it's described as woody aromatic and amber i do feel like it has even though it's not listed in there I feel like they have certain spices in there or something because it's not just a plain tonka bean smell but I personally like it I thought that it was a little bit warm even though it doesn't say it on here it just says it's woody and aromatic so maybe aromatic is the word that I'm thinking but I do recommend that you guys try this this is the newer fragrance in his line but really all of them were good the black one, the blue one, the the light blue one, all of them were good. So, on to the next one. And I've never tried any of these was MCM Onyx EDP. So, for the notes for that, let's see, let's see. So, top notes is ginger, pink pepper, grapefruit. Middle note is violet leaf, basil, and lavender. And the base is clear wood, vetiver Haiti, and tonka. This is really weird. So when I was in the store, obviously I don't know the notes to it. I'm just picking it up and smelling it. Even though you would think that you you hear vetiver, you hear tonka bean, pink pepper, ginger, all those. This was a very fresh scent, like a fresh, clean scent. So I'm actually pretty shocked to see these notes. This is my first time seeing it as I'm making this video. Because like, I don't know, I get the middle notes of the violet leaf, the lavender and basil but pink pepper ginger tonka like i don't get any of that maybe the clear wood because it was like a it wasn't like a harsh wood it was like a clean slight woody like i don't know fresh scent so do i think that it's masculine leaning yes but I don't know. These notes shock me. I think that it's fresh. The packaging is obviously really unique. It looks like a backpack for all you fragrance collectors, I think. You know, it's pretty nice and it smells fresh. So my husband actually pointed out that he thought that it smelled like like the Bath and Body Works. I can't remember if it's graphite or another one because I didn't really get like a metallic smell out of it or anything. but. He said that it did remind him of a Bath and Body Works fragrance, and I kind of agree. So yeah, the notes, reading it throws me off. I would say try it for yourself. The smell I didn't think was unique. I thought the packaging was unique, but if you're looking for something fresh, you know, Onyx EDP by MCM. So these next two fragrances are interesting and the reason why I'm not going to do it individually is because guys, I don't know if like that's a partner company or something. I have no idea, but for this one, it's Cartier, Cartier, but anyways, I thought all of them in the line probably except I think for the black one, I want to say, um, all of them were pretty good. There was nothing really unique about them. But the t I smell the Toomey's right after, and like I literally start smelling them side by side. Of course, the little coffee beans in between. And I was like, are these sister companies or something? Because these, I feel like there's no point of having a Cartier and a Toomey. Because whatever scent you find in Cartier, you can find it in Toomey. They are alike, I I'm telling you. I would honestly, if you had to decide between the two, I would just base it off of price because if you're looking for a particular scent in Cartier, you can find it in Tumi. So I would just base it off of the price. But as far as the scents, I feel like they can range from like high schooler to mature. Just all. So it just depends on what your preference is as far as notes. Other than that, 
I feel like it was just, eh. I, I feel like they're safe buys pretty much. Going back to the women's side, this is MCM EDP for women. So the top notes is raspberry and apricot. The middle notes is white peony, jasmine absolute, and violet leaf. And then the base is white moss, vanilla, and brox, and sandalwood. You can't really tell from the bottle. It doesn't really give you any clues. But I really enjoy this one. So this one, it says that it's, that it's in the woody and aromatic family. And I do remember liking this one. Unfortunately, they did have the MCM Ultra EDP spray. This is the one I definitely can't tell you about because somebody sprayed it to kingdom come like it was empty so i'm guessing people liked it or people really wanted to try it so the top notes is black currant pink pepper and pink lady apple Ooh. Yeah, i wanted to smell it okay the middle notes is apricot nectar tuberose jasmine sandbach and then the base is cedarwood golden amber tonka bean and moss this one I would have to try it another time, unfortunately. I mean, people t -t 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 snorch them. But I really did like the MCM EDP, the tan one. So, on to the next. For this next fragrance, I walked past it twice. This is some, like, men's body care thing. It's just whatever. But I was like, let me give it a shot. Because it kept catching my eye. So, this is called Jack Black. And they pretty much have body wash, hair care, colognes, body sprays, beard stuff. They have everything for men, right? So for the first one, it's called JB EDP. The top notes is tangerine, black pepper, peppermint. Peppermint? Okay, sorry. Middle notes is eucalyptus, geranium, orchid. And then the base notes is papyrus, black amber, and blonde woods. So... My reaction was because I didn't get peppermint from it, but I will say I really like this one. It caught me off guard. So this one is a very fresh everyday scent. It's clean. Notes are throwing me off because usually like I think geranium smells too earthy and doesn't smell good, but that wasn't the case with this. I think that this one could be used all the way from teen to all the way to mature. I think it's a great buy for men. It smelled really good. And as far as the Blue Mark one, this one caught me off guard too. So let me read you the notes. The top notes is bergamot, watermint, and cilantro. Middle notes is Japanese juniper, ginger, vetiver, and the base notes is patchouli and white woods. I did read the notes for that in store, and I was just like, juniper? I do not like that scent. I feel like as a kid, I was just like, hmm when they have like the old Bath and Body Works one that they like did a re-release on that one. I, as I got older, I was like, this is off-putting. Like it smells bad. <laughs> but that was not the case for this. I don't know, maybe it's a different, it says Japanese juniper, so maybe it's different from the ones they use here. I, I don't know. It wasn't that like very pungent, strong juniper that I'm used to smelling. It actually was really good. Which one did I prefer? I actually prefer the JBDP over this one. But I will say, guys, I'm showing the, the body care over here. And that all-over spray was probably my favorite out of all of them. That one definitely, I feel like anybody can use i i kind of feel like women can use that one too because it has that mintiness in it and it smells so clean it smells so good guys it, that one like if you just get fresh out of the shower and you spray it on you oh my goodness i, I got it i'm gonna do a video of like some things that would be good to wear in like this big heat wave i know that it's starting to like rain in some areas but Y'all, Texas and Arizona, they are getting tore up. I can't even take the weather here, so I can't even imagine what it's like over there. I mean, the cactus is, is dying. Have y'all seen the pictures? Because, goodness. Okay, so now getting into the new fragrances. For the first one we're going to go over is Carmina by Creed. So the associate actually told me this after... 
I asked was like there anything new out or anything so this one should be coming late September I think it's September if I'm not mistaken but he said that he got to try it and that it is really good and that he normally doesn't like any of the creeds. So I was just like, mm, okay, I'm pretty interested in that. So I guess the employees got to sample it behind the scenes, but guys, this has not hit stores yet. Well, anyways, not Nordstrom. I'm going to read uh, what this website named Cosmetica is saying about it because I want to know the notes to it that it is like a cherry scent, but it's not almondy. And then it's saying that it has like equal parts of mixed cherry fruit and sakura blossom. The sakura cherry accord is reinforced by traces of rose and violet. And it's violet. <laughs> violet. Like the perfume is going to get violet. <laughs> violet. Okay, so it says it's accompanied by gentle, smoky, courtesy of saffron woods, amber and airy musk that adds lightness the bottle is really pretty as you can see so i'm interested to see how that smells because when it comes to creed i feel like it's either a hit or miss there's not in between you either don't like it or you do and then they also have aventus absolute and then this is an all black bottle it says that it will feature a deeper and woodier cinnamon note in combination with grapefruit and a dash of ginger. I like ginger, guys. So I'm wondering how that is going to be. I think my husband likes ginger, too, based off of, like, the stuff that, you know, he said he likes. So I'm really curious how that one is going to be. So for the next one, we have Parfums de Marley. Um, I'm going to write how it's... <laughs> I would spelled here in my mind is Altair. So that's how it's gonna be forever in my mind. Altair. This has quite a bit of notes. Some I've never heard of, so let's read what it says. This is from nosefragrances.com. It says orange blossom absolute, bergamot, cinnamon, cardamom, bourbon vanilla, elemi, ambrox, guayac, wood, praline, and musk. So what's jumping out to me is Orange Blossom, which could be a hit or miss. That's my, for me personally, I feel that way because, I don't know, sometimes I feel like Orange Blossom either smells amazing or it's just like, what is this like synthetic weird smell in here? So that sticks out to me because I'm iffy about that. Cinnamon, because I like cinnamon. Cardamom, of course. Bourbon Vanilla. And that would, I'm kind of just like, because that's not the first time I've seen that type. And I'm just like, I wonder how that's going to do, if it's going to throw it off or what. So this one is in a brown bottle. So I'm wondering because of those like spices that are in there, if that's why it's like that brown color. But nevertheless, I am curious to see what that smells like. I think that's pretty much it as far as my Sephora and Nordstrom trip and the new fragrances that they have coming out. I know there's more. It's, I'm telling you, they're mm, 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 throwing them out there. I'm telling you guys. Watch, I'm going to make a video in a couple of days and be like, guys, I got five more. Thank you guys for watching again. For all those who have subscribed, commented, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I am striving to get to a thousand, hopefully before the end of this year. Anyways, if you enjoy the content, subscribe, like, comment. Tell me your opinions on what you think about the fragrances that I talked about, the upcoming fragrances, and like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time.